Hello and welcome my hang gliding hill hoppers. How you doing today? It's Chris and we're talking about the Spectre's Mausoleum, an ancient mausoleum infused by dark magical forces. Dreadful ghosts gather around it, attacking and inspiring fear on any enemies that dare get close. Oh baby. Oh baby, I'm rubbing my nipples right now because this is an amazing tower. I love him with all my heart. I will probably be biased in this one. Maybe I am. That's fine. I love this tower though. It's delicious. Probably the best tower in the game for sure. Not probably. It is the best tower in the game. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Hopefully they don't nerf it, because they might. Magic. It, on paper, though, it's like it's a little weird. Like, magic's like meh. It's like medium. Uh, cooldown's like meh. It's medium. And range pretty high, so that's pretty good. Three abilities. We've got the Spectral Communion. A mausoleum can hold extra, spe extra specters. So the one key thing about the mausoleum is that uh, even as a zeroth tier, or first tier, uh, you can hold up to three, three specters, and they can all just kind of burst into action all at once. Like, triple attack. So, uh, sort of like it it saves up energy and then shoots a big burst, is the best way I can think about it. The second one is, uh, oh yeah, and then what you can do is, you can go from three to four, and then all the way up to five. So you can hold five max with the second ability of that. Possession, you can take control of an enemy that will fight by your side for a brief moment. The cool factor on this is, first of all, 100 billion percent awesome, and the goodness factor is usually pretty awesome. The only sad thing about the possession is if you accidentally try to possess a sort of weak unit, it like, takes a little while to get there, you can just waste it for that turn. So, uh, fighting a lot of weak units, the possession is not going to be all that good. If you're fighting some strong units, though, oh baby, that can be powerful. And then the Guardian Gargoyles, oh my god, the best ability in the game. Gargoyles, oh my god, I'm, I'm just getting a boner thinking about gargoyles right now, guys, and that's rough. That's rough to even say out loud, so, uh, yeah, I, it's rough, it's, it's so good, it's so good. I think the best thing about this guy is that he's such an everything kind of tower. Uh, he does good magic damage, he does good stalling power with the double gargoyles, he does good, uh, you know, controlling of enemy units with possession, so he can control them, uh, you know, over here very, very early on, and he still does that triple specter where he, he sort of beefs up his first attack against some units and just can kill them right away, or if you use them sort of near the back over here, for any random unit that's gonna sneak through, you can just go, poof, and just blast him into oblivion. He's just dead for sure. So... Uh, I think, like I said, the main reason why this guy ends up being so gosh darn good is these gargoyles right here. At almost 400 health and having double armor, uh, it's it's delicious. Deliciously OP. Possession's pretty good as well. Can't complain about the possession. We're double blasting these guys and it's just it's wonderful. I didn't even talk too much about the attack and I didn't even talk too much about the low level um, uh mausoleums, but because be to be honest with you guys, the low-level mausoleums are not very good. Uh, they are pretty bad, actually. So, to, to make your mausoleum worthwhile, you do have to get up to fourth tier, and you do have to get some of these abilities. But, the one thing about my mausoleums, is almost every time I get a mausoleum, I get them upgraded to not only for fourth tier, but get all of the abilities and max them out, because I like him so gosh darn much. So, basically, if you don't have mausoleums as one of your towers, you're doing something wrong. Oh, you look at that? We get 10,000 enemies on this video. Wonderful. Uh, but, yeah, you're doing something wrong if you're not playing with a mausoleum and some gargoyles in here. I would understand if you didn't get the middle path or the right path. It doesn't work every single time. But, at the very least, get some gargoyle action in here. It's going to help you out a lot. You can see we haven't even really had to use any reinforcements or anything like that. And we're still pretty much dominating at this point in the game. And we're using an enemy to fight against him. I loved what I was... I think my favorite one was getting a war bear on my team. Or the house. Getting a house on my team and having them fight for me. Just the cool factor of that was just freaking awesome, you know? So, uh, here we go. We can get the uh, fourth specter over here. So, if we're not attacking ever, we will uh, save up our specters. So, at this point, we should start saving up. We got one. We got two. We got three. And we're going to blast. But normally we can hold up to four. And then if we get all the way up here to the fifth one, um, we can hold a uh, well, fifth. Or the second level, we can hold a fifth. Um, as far as pure damage goes, it, it, believe it or not, you actually don't do as much damage as you're probably expecting. The real reason why it seems like we're doing so, go so good is because of uh, stalling power. And because we still do a decent amount of damage. That's really what it's at. It is really a decent amount of damage. It's not anything too amazing. It's just a decent amount. And that's why we're doing so gosh darn good, though. If I had to give a rating for this tower, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Um, yes, I, I, it is my favorite tower in the game. It is very powerful, very reasonable. 
very fun to use, and I just like using it. So, um, check it out, man. Check it out if you want to. One of the weirdest things about the mausoleum, though, actually, is the uh, the middle path upgrade here, because when you get the first tier, it costs like 250 bucks. That's pretty pricey to hold four, but to get up to the fifth tier, or to get up to the fifth specter, the second tier, uh, it's only 130 bucks. So the way I think about it is, if you're going fourth tier, just buy the fifth tier for the 130 gold. It's worth it. You know, that's the, that's just the way I think about it. But yeah, 10 out of 10, there's really not too much more to say about it. It's it's rock solid in every single way. I, I love taking control of the really, really strong units. If I can get some strong units on my team, man, it's it's fun to it's fun to have it happen, you know? That, that's for sure. But if you enjoyed my video, make sure you press that like button for me. If you didn't like it, you think Mausoleum suck balls, hey, dislike my video. Say, Chris, you suck, man. You're, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. What are you smoking? You on Magic Mushroom or something? I don't know, you know? Feel free to yell at me in the comments below if you disagree with me. But I have a very strong feeling people will not. Uh, but press that like button if you want. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.